cultivated land can host a big variety of different insects, most of which are harmless. Some of them are even useful, and then there are those that cause serious trouble. Pests, like the cotton bollworm. Laying its eggs into the fruit, it can destroy an entire harvest. Up until today, the answer to this issue was the extensive use of pesticides, killing not only the troublemakers, but all insects. The Olefine Project wants to change this. The Olefine Project believes in the power of love instead of poison. In other words, they want to use pheromones. The use of pheromones instead of pesticides is like spamming the insect's GPS system. For the male, all of a sudden, it smells like females are everywhere, confusing it to the extent that it will not find its mating partner anymore. No mating, no eggs, no larvae, and most important, no harm to other insects, as pheromones are species-specific. The way pheromones are produced now is uh, by chemical synthesis. It's very expensive, it's energy consuming. In contrast, producing them biologically has the advantage that it, they leave uh, no residues, they uh, use uh, renewable uh, feedstuff, and they are very, uh, very inexpensive. But how does nature produce these pheromones? Insects are able to create so-called enzymes, large molecules, that work like a machine and modify or assemble other molecules. In our case, they assemble pheromones. The building plan for those enzymes is within the insect's DNA and can be transferred into another organism, such as yeast. The pheromones can now be produced in large fermenters, using yeast as a host organism instead of insects. Here in the Thessaloniki area, the yeast-produced pheromones are tested. Dimitris places different traps, containing both kinds of pheromones. The synthesized ones, as well as the pheromones Olefine created. Comparing the number of catches in the traps gives information whether or not the biologically produced pheromones are as effective as the synthesized ones. The, the first results that we have from the fields indicate that they act in the same way. Facing these positive results, the Olefine partners are optimistic that, in the near future, pheromones can replace pesticides in many areas, where today the cost would be the main obstacle. That's good news for the farmers, good news for the consumers, and especially good news for a lot of bugs out there.